Okay, so here is some actual 4K footage. I wanted to really challenge the camera, so we're gonna have some glare coming off the water. And we'll see if we have any purple fringing, which is like a purple haze you get around reflecting light uh, that bounces off of surfaces. Fuji cameras can sometimes have a problem with that. It's a little bit windy out too. We'll see if the wind filter does anything. So 15 frames per second, it's probably gonna be almost like it's in slow motion a little bit. Here, let's go down here and get some detail. some uh, 4k footage of my car and see how sharp it looks now if you're not watching this on a 4k monitor or 4k phone you may not be able to enjoy all the benefits of it, it might look a little bit sharper than 1080p all right let's go check out the car okay so this is the 4k quality I'm gonna go ahead and film this um, also at 1080p so you can see what it looks like maybe see if we notice much of a difference and again this is pretty harsh direct sunlight afternoon sunlight close and do some detail here. Looks like you're limited to seven minute clips if you're running 4K. You're basically gonna be gobbling up your memory about twice as quick or two and a half times faster than you would if you're filming at uh, 1080p, 60 frames per second. Oh, here, let's get the other side real quick too, this is fun. Check this out. There we go. Not saying you want to film major events in 4K on this particular camera, because you know it seems like there's kind of an introduction to the uh, to the resolution on this particular camera without being really refined. But we'll see how it looks uh, on the computer screen. All right, let's go back to our lake and uh, do some more video. You know, I was just getting ready to take off, and I thought to myself, let's just go ahead and show it at 1080p, 60 frames per second, so you can see the uh, difference. I'm going to keep my License plate out of the way because I already put the towel away, but we can kind of back up here and see if we notice. So we're having some focus issues there. Press that button, see if we can bring it in. There we go, there we go. It's kind of just letting it do autofocus on its own. Again, you'll probably notice how much smoother this is, and I think for most people for this kind of filming, uh, 1080p 60 frames per second is going to be more than adequate. All right, now let's go back to our little filming spot.